The way we choose to move around our cities is changing. Deep down inside, most folks just want the freedom of choice. Where they live, where they work, where they eat, and how they get from one place to another. Across the country, more people are choosing bicycles as a way to get around. Half of all trips Americans make are less than four miles, an easy distance to ride by bike. And bike commuting has increased by 53% since 2005. Cities are encouraging this trend by building a new kind of bike lane called a protected bike lane. Protected bike lanes are on street lanes, which are separated from motorized traffic by curbs, planters, parked cars, or posts. Since 2011, the number of miles of protected bike lanes has doubled. Protected bike lanes are the solution that makes riding on a street like riding on a trail. So it makes biking an attractive option for a much wider range of people. These projects are about livability, they're about economic success, they're about building community, they're about community happiness. This is just part of a continuing effort to make Memphis a better city, a more livable city to attract the type of young people and to keep the type of young people that we need. Having these protected bike lanes improves the quality of life in our city, improves our economic competitiveness, and allows us to draw employees, employers, and entrepreneurs. People come here and they're always really refreshed. They see people out riding their bikes, they see protected bike lanes, and they understand that we're part of the modern world. Protected bike lanes not only make it easier for people to get to a place, but they can help put a You Are Here stamp on a neighborhood. They can make it a place that you want to go to and be in rather than a place that you're moving through. Obviously as a business owner I was a little bit nervous. I was like, okay, let's see how this goes. Um, and I think that there's a major shift happening right now with this project. It's a real missed opportunity, you know, if we don't embrace that. I think protected bicycle lanes, the real value of them is that they benefit everybody and it's not about um, serving cyclists. What we're trying to do is order the streets so that they're easier for everybody to use and so that they're predictable and so that they're comfortable and so that they're safe. On these busy streets, if you create a separated protected place for bikes, drivers know where to expect bicyclists. You know, we've seen speeds of cars come down We've seen the number of bicyclists go up, uh, and we made it easier to cross the street for pedestrians. A study in New York showed that protected bike lanes reduce traffic crashes for all road users by 34%. When you get a protected lane, you see like families and grandmas and like, you know, people who are just getting around. It's not the, like this crazy, dangerous, insane thing to do, it's just how, how you travel. It's even more important to me to continue to advocate and push for more bike lanes and more bike infrastructure so that my daughter and I have safe places to ride. In a recent study, 96% of people say protected bike lanes make them feel safer on the street. If they could build more of them, I think more families would, would go out and get bikes and, and go out and enjoy it and say, you know, hey look, we can get to school faster that way and it's safe and, and we feel comfortable and I don't feel like unsecure of uh, getting on the road with my kids and, and worrying about them. They open up the street to people who might not otherwise feel like they belong there. That green paint to me is like saying like this is a space for you and you're supposed to feel safe in it. The more people that choose to ride bicycles, the better the quality of life is going to be in your city, period. The People for Bikes Green Lane Project is helping U.S. cities build better bike lanes. Learn more and join the movement to improve bicycling at peopleforbikes.org.